George W. Bush by David C., Nathan H., Nathan H., Emma M., Nathan M., and Jeremy M. Ms. O'Kennicott's fourth period, seventh grade class. This is Sean over here with the chainsaw. And George W. Bush thinks back to all of his poor little selves who might die if, if Sean cuts him down. He thought about all of the poor cell membranes in the cell walls, the cell walls that protect and maintain the shape of all of his cells, and the cell membranes that control the molecules passing in and out of all of his many cells. He thought about all of the, di the dying the ribosomes that would pass, that they, they created proteins for all of the cells, and the cytoplasm that maintained the pressure of all of his millions and trillions of cells. He thought about the mitochondria, which produced ATP, and the chloroplasts, which also produced ATP through sunlight. He cried and cried and cried. He also thought of his many, many, many vacuoles, which, hold, which held the water and the nutrients that the cell needs. And he thought about all of his lysomes, which broke down all of his millions and trillions of cells' ways, and the endoplasmic reticulum, the smooth and the rough. Which, pre which prepared proteins for transport to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi body groups liquids and proteins and ships materials all over the cell and out of the cell. The nucleus, one could say, is the most important organelle. It directs all the activity in a cell and it holds the DNA, the instructions of a cell. While he was immersed in thought of his many cells and organelles, Sean fired up his chainsaw. George cried and cried and could, but could not realize his tears would soon grow many more bushes to stand up against evil Sean. Next time you destroy and cut down living things, all of the trillions and millions of cells that live in those things will die.